Hey guys, what's up? Roach and T-Bones Tech. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the iPod Touch 6th generation versus the iPhone 6. So first off, we're going to be talking about price. The iPod Touch 6th generation 16GB is going to cost you $200 and that's it. Where the iPhone 6 16GB is also going to cost you only $200. However, to get the iPhone 6 at $200, you're going to have to sign a two-year contract. Now, if you get unlimited talk and text and only two gigabytes of data, it's going to cost you $60 a month. And that's one of the cheapest plans available. So you're going to have to pay $60 times 24. So in two years, it's going to cost you $1,440. Plus you have a $40 activation fee when you first buy the iPhone 6. So over the course of that 24 months, it's going to cost you $1,440 for that contract, plus the $40 activation fee. With all the taxes and fees, it's going to cost you a little bit over $1,700 to have an iPhone 6, 16 gigabyte, for the course of two years. So in the course of two years, the iPhone 6 is going to cost you approximately over $1,700. And the iPod Touch 6th generation is going to cost you $200. Now I'm going to compare the hardware. So first off, the iPod Touch 6th generation comes in at a depth of 6.1 millimeters. And the iPhone 6 comes in at 6.9 millimeters. Both of these phones have a 326 pixel per inch display. Both of them do feature a a8 chip with 64-bit architecture. However, the iPod Touch 6th generation is slightly underclocked compared to the iPhone 6. And it's mostly to save on battery width because the iPod Touch 6th generation has a smaller battery than the iPhone 6. The iPod Touch 6th generation has a 4-inch display and the iPhone 6 has a 4.7-inch display and the iPhone 6 Plus has a 5.5-inch display. So we're just going to do a couple of speed comparisons they're very very snappy. Alright, so now I'm just going to load up a couple of different web pages to show you the speed difference. So I'm just going to load up apple.com. And both of them pretty much loaded up instantly. Now I'm just going to go in here and type in yahoo.com. And as you guys can see, they basically loaded up almost instantly. Now the speed difference between the iPod Touch 6th generation and the iPhone 6 is barely even going to be noticeable at all. I really didn't notice the iPod Touch 6th generation being slower or anything like that. But as far as gaming goes, the iPhone 6 is going to be a little bit more powerful when playing graphic intensive games. The iPod Touch 6th generation has the same camera that was found in the iPhone 5S. It has an aperture of f2.4, where the iPhone 6 has a f2.2 aperture and has a brand new and improved sensor that also has face detection and if you get the 6 plus optical image stabilization. The iPod shoots 1080p video at 30 frames per second and the iPhone 6 shoots 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now talking slow motion the iPod touch is capable of 120 frame per second video and the iPhone 6 is capable of 240 FPS video. If you guys want to to see a video test that I did on the iPhone and if you want to see a video test that I did on the iPod Touch, I'm going to have links in the description down below. The iPhone 6 has Touch ID and unfortunately the iPod Touch 6th generation does not. If you guys are thinking about picking up these two devices, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. The first two links are going to be to the iPhone 6 and the iPod Touch 6th generation. Now the iPod Touch 6th generation can text and call using a real number by using some cool third party texting apps that are absolutely free. Unfortunately, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi to be able to use the app. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel because then you'll be notified when I release new videos to my YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them for me in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.